How do you do? Hey, <laughs> hey, I am Tom the Beer Whisperer. How are you? Hey, um, I've been hanging on to this one for a little bit. I was about to go out of season on me. Uh, things have kind of gotten away from me here, but here's one I want to try here. It's Contact High from Four Hands. I just sent one of these uh, uh, to a friend out in California. I thought it would be a good beer. He does a lot of home brewing. I thought, well, this would be a good one for him to try. I think he likes these big, kind of crazy beers. So let me uh, pour some of this. It's kind of a spring seasonal for four hands out of St. Louis. And while that beer settles down, because I didn't pour it, it kind of got away from me. They don't give me the, uh, look at the website, they don't give me the ABVs. Let me read this. Uh, not just another boring wheat ale. Contact higher spring and summer seasonal, exciting by adding copious amounts of Pacific Northwest hops and dry hopping with fresh orange zest. Contact high pours a bright orange hue with big citrus aromas. Yeah, that it does, and I haven't had it for a while. I, I had it uh, when it first came out, and I brought this bottle home, and I kind of forgot about it. Oh, it does say 5% here. Here on the bottle. That's on the website, but here on the bottle it says 5%. So it is, it's kind of that, that big... Uh, that that hoppy wheat style. I'm gonna pour a little more here. There we go. So let's try her, shall we? Uh, it does. You the um, big citrus aromas, orange specifically. Oh. This is becoming a popular style, a hoppy wheat. Uh, I think the first one I personally had uh, was uh, the Mother Sandy. Uh, originally, they just called it Sandy Wheat uh, and then renamed it uh, Sandy Hopped Up Wheat. But it's basically that very hoppy. I believe it was uh, brewed with grapefruit, grapefruit zest rather than orange zest. And, of course, uh, there's also Boulevard, uh, their 80-acre hoppy wheat, which is a, kind of a lighter version. Uh, this one is big and bright. Uh, yeah, real big and bright. That's big and bright. It's big and bright. <laughs> Whew. I've got about a 90 degree day out there, and it is muggy as all heck. Uh, so this is this is a perfect beer. I'd actually had, like I said, I've had this one for a while, and it probably ought to be used. I don't know if I've lost any any hop on it. It still it, it tastes fantastic. I don't think so, but. Like I said, I bought it back in April, so it. <sighs> Anyways, I'm gonna start getting sad if I start recalling that again. Oh. Whew. Uh, wow. Lost my train of thought. You hate it when that happens. <laughs> uh, this is a great beer for for this time of year. Like I was saying. Oh. Uh, uh, it has big, bright citrus notes, and I hope my friend out in California really likes it, because this is one of my favorites. Oh. Uh, it is a brew with orange zest, but I you do get a lot of grapefruit as well, so you get a lot of citrus. You, you definitely get grapefruit. You certainly get orange. And then you also get a little, little lemon in the finish as well, so it is it just has a lot of bright citrus notes, which makes it incredibly refreshing for a beer for a day like today. Nice, refreshing, anyways. I digress. Ah. Oh. oh, yeah, it actually, wow, it, it gets better the more you drink it. Um, I would say, you know, you could argue about temperature. I would drink a beer like this with a chill on it. I think especially when you're talking a big summer day, 90 degrees, I think I want all my beer to have a little bit of chill on, on 90 degree days. I think Because truth is that, that cold is refreshing. And this type of beer I, I do think is better cold. So, oh, God, that drink, I had, had extreme grapefruit. Well, orange and lemon, absolutely beautiful. Oh, let me show you the bottle one more time. Contact High from Four Hands, one of my favorite breweries. Uh, Four Hands, uh, Urban Chestnut, I just love them. A lot of great breweries out of St. Louis. So, so, this is not a beer whisperer. I'm gonna get the heck out of here.